This is the Effing One Podcast, Australia's only Formula One podcast with Adam and Luke. G'day and welcome to Effing One Podcast, the world's least downloaded podcast, but also least entertaining podcast, so you know it's good, as voted by the ladies at the Tweet Heads Bowls Club. I'm talking to you, Dawn, Margaret, Joyce, love their bingo, hate Effing One Podcast, but they're always listening for the blue language. Good on you, girls. Love you. How's the Bay Marie this, this evening? They love it. I'm back, Luke. I'm back. I've missed you. How are I you? I've missed you. Are you good? Who are you? Um, oh, well, Fresh I sh- back from Epstein Island. It's Adam Ifland, Thank everyone. you. Thank you so much. Got a new room. Did you like that? When you're clapping. I can't hear that. Dead. Totally, we're in a soundproof studio. There's no echo, Luke. There's an echo through here. Yeah, but that's just that's it. Genetics. That's it. Genetics. Mm. That's good genetics right there. Um, yes, Luke, touch the wall. Touch oh. the foam acoustic wall. Purpose built effing one studio. Finally, we've raised some funds mm. and we put together the ultimate voice booth worthy of a podcast like this, Luke. Yep. No other. A podcast, especially a Formula One podcast, no. has anything quite like this no. built into a walk-in robe. Purpose built. It's got three layers of everything yep. to stop anyone from... No one's getting in. Armageddon could be on the other side of this wall. No one's getting out. We wouldn't have a clue. We're going to be fine. We have... This is our panic room. The only ones that'll survive a nuclear holocaust mm. are the cockroaches and us. You and me. Living off each other's man juices <laughs> just to survive. I would. Yeah. I've got no problem. As long as there's high, high speed no internet, problem. we'll be fine. Yeah. We've got high speed internet. We've got man juice. What yep. else can you possibly want? Yes, Luke, I'm back after my 12 months ban in the sport. Mm. 12 now, months. Now, let's talk about that ban. Yes. Why did that ban come about, Adam? Well, deservedly so. Mm. A ban for headbutting the uh, dirty Dutch douchebag. <laughs> I headbutted Max Verstappen after that disgraceful last race in 2021. That's why he's got that weird lip. Because of your yeah, headbutt. Correct. Before that, it was fine. Hmm. A little talked. Just a sneaky him. little headbutt. I got, I cornered Max and Yoss after the race, and I just had a couple of words, yep. fisty cuffs, hmm. and then a headbutt. Yeah. I gave Yoss Verstappen a, a Chinese burn. Good. Yeah. He wasn't happy. No. But I didn't get banned. So. Yeah. That's why I could keep You could have. You could have, because people have been banned for less, Luke, mm. in Formula One. I call it a. Uh, a, a a <laughs> Zhou Guan Yu burn. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Oh, oh, take that. <clears throat> yeah, that kind of hurts, Luke. Yeah, yeah, that was, Do it harder. Is that no, all you got? That's all I got. That's all I got. Yeah, uh, yeah so the ban has been lifted, which mm. is fantastic news for me and the FM1 podcast. Yep. I wasn't even allowed to listen to this podcast, Luke. <laughs> I was. <laughs> that was the that ban was the ban. of the whole world. Yeah, so when they said, you're banned from Formula One, I went, okay. Not only did they It's ban- a fucking boring season. I'm not going to miss you, anything. And they banned... A lot of our listeners as well. And then... <laughs> but that wasn't because... That's because of just poor taste. Yeah. Sorry, you've been listening to what they, podcast? They've been listening yeah. to the Tweet Heads Bowls Club you, ladies and yeah. their official newsletter that comes out by Joan weekly. and Margaret and Joyce, they got banned from listening to this podcast. Yeah. Uh, um, yes, but not being able to partake in the sport for 12 months, it's uh, it was tough. I had a vow of silence and mm. protest. Mm. I actually went up to the French Alps where I became a, a devout religious charity worker. Did you meet my grandmother up there? Yes, she's fine. Yes, she's doing the royal very, family? very well. Very. She's always naked, which I found is weird. She's a naturist. Yeah, she is. He was like a. She likes to hang low. Yeah, low, low hanging fruit. <laughs> she's a. Uh, Those she, curtains. I, I actually <laughs> nearly touched the ground. Close the curtains. It's bright in here. God, oh, blimey. Um, she, a lovely lady though. Lovely. What a lovely flan. She makes your grandma. She's such a cool... We are just talking about her All flan. the monks would be raving about her flan. Mm, they didn't say anything. No. It was all in their facial expression. You yeah. could tell they love flan. Yeah. Uh, but I'm very proud of the work that I did on the mountain of the Alps. Uh, a lot of tireless work. Uh, Publicising hand jobs for the homeless, of course, up at the mountain. The Pope has made it the official charity of the Catholic Church. <laughs> it's now officially the official charity of the Vatican. Yeah. Hand jobs for the homeless. See, it's just so. that they need to... Just stop touching little yes, kids yes. and focus more on homeless 
uh, fondling. Absolutely, Luke. How have you been, Luke? Enough about me. Enough about my ban, my yeah. living in the mountains, the Alps. How you've, have you been? You've built this room mm. kind of like how life was for me for the last year. Yeah. I was alone in a echoless chamber. Mm. And I was just screaming into the abyss, hoping someone would hear me. And there was probably four or five loyal listeners. Really? Who... They stuck with us the whole way. Yep. Um, Davo? Not Dave. No, Cliff? he's gone. Cliff is still with us. Big shout out to you, Cliff O. Cliff. Hey, um, Cliff O. The Foley Boys. The Foley. They're not, Jim are they? Jim and Pat, they're still they're on board. They're still bloody here. Yeah. Good on you, Foley Boys. Are they down at the. My uh, mum's not listening anymore. Tweetheads Bowls Club, the Foley Boys watching no. with. No. With they're the, with they're the ladies. in the United States, living their life. Living the dream. Yep. Yeah. Oh, good Shout on out them. to the Foley Boys. Oh, Thanks for listening. Love those guys. Um, By the way, this podcast is the podcast for the Little Aussie Battler, the Formula One podcast that doesn't care how boring the Formula One World Championship has become. We don't care. We're not here for that. We deliver your dose of F1 action through the lens of some Aussie honesty. Sure, we like it a little blue. We like it a bit of lewd, bit lewd, bit nude. That's the way we roll, Luke. A lot of nudity. A lot of nudity. So please, everybody, if you're listening to us right now, ladies at the Tweed Heads Bowls Club, the Foley Brothers in California. California? No. Nah, close enough. Please, <laughs> sit down, make yourself comfortable, loosen your trousers up, get comfy, and shut the hell up! Because two Aussie blokes are about to talk Formula One for 2023! And that's what we missed. <laughs> Sorry. For a whole year. Shit, this microphone just exploded. Is everything all right? He, yeah, it's fine. Um, there's a wet spot. We've put a towel down. Um, but uh, he's yeah. been waiting all year for that. Oh, I feel so much better for that. I mean, it's been 12 long months sitting on top of the Pillar of Pyrenees or the Alps. They're, they're both there in, yeah, in France. Somewhere in France. Oh, this yeah. other side. But Did you know. see the Tour de France just yes. cycle past? Yeah. Your, your grandmother. I saw you flash the camera. <laughs> yes, I did. Couldn't say any because I had a vow silence, so I just watched as your grandma de- derobed. <laughs> she loved it. With her flange. Oh, flan. Beautiful time. Delicious flan. So, recap of what happened last year. What happened last year, Luke? I didn't know. I don't know anything. Who won? Okay, so. Who won? It started out quite, because they've got new cars. Yeah. It started out quite well. There was mm. a nice little battle between mm. Ferrari and Red Bull. Let me guess. Ferrari started well. Yes. And due to incompetence, something happened. Yep, they got shit. Yeah. Uh, Red Bull improved throughout the year. Uh-huh. Mercedes improved throughout the year. Ferrari just rested on their laurels. They're like, we've already spent all of our money. That's all we can have. Yep. That's it. Good on them. That's, you wouldn't hard. expect anything else, though, would you? And it was good battling. It wasn't yeah. taking each other out. There was no nitpicking. It was respectful. Yep. It was great Formula on racing. Mm. And then... Four or five races in, it was like, ah, all right, it's fucking boring again. Oh, no. Was it yeah. all over by, by Japan? Was a world championship it, it, tied pretty up? Pretty much, yeah. If, if no, <sighs> thankfully, no one died in Japan after the wet race in Suzuka. Mm. And Pierre Gasly was on track with a, another a vehicle that was getting him back. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so no one died. All good times. Yes. Um, I enjoy... What happened last year? And, and you oh. know, Mercedes yeah. won a race. What? George Russell won his first race. Boy George. Boy George? Kevin Magnussen You're won pole me. position. The unfortunate thing was the sprint race. And he got fuck all for it. Oh, my but God. But Kevin Magnussen was on pole. Man. And that, that so whole wait, hang on, moment. Wait. So Mags is back? Mags. Kevin Magnussen's back? Kevin Magnussen. In Formula One? Is back. Oh, Jesus. Because Nikita Mazepin, the oh. only person oh, good. no one misses from Formula One. Yep. He got asked when... Um, the Russian they, rapist! The Russian rapist? The Russian rapist. Yep. With the, no one, <laughs> no one's ever gone... There's two people. Um, Nicholas Latifi, the Russian rapist. Oh, Latifi. Is he still around? I don't know. Oh. He's not in Formula One. Oh, if That's he's for not, damn sure. He hasn't died, though, has he? No. He hasn't killed anyone else. I don't think so. Oh, good. Someone look into that. Yeah. Check uh, that, I would you? I'm not... No one Googles Nicholas Latifi. Not a name you normally think about during the day when you're on the dunny, yeah. eating brekkie. He could have an OnlyFans. It would be very unsuccessful. Mm. He's trying to recoup the money that his parents spent on him getting into Formula One. Oh, was it an IOU? Mm. Oh, jeez. Yep. He's got to pay all that money back. That's why he dipped out now. He's like, I can't afford. If only Lawrence Stroll had to pay that money back. Mm. 
Oh, it would take forever, wouldn't it? Poor. How many generations would that take? What a waste of money that what is. What a waste. How are they doing? How did they go last year? They did all right. Yeah. Vettel did good. Did he? Yeah. Is he gone? He's gone. Oh, no. I heard about that. We'll talk to him later, though. All right. What? Yeah. Oh! Sebastian Vettel, four-time world champion, Fort- retired. On this very podcast, Luke. This very podcast. He's coming out How do out we of... get the big names, Luke? Well, there's... How do, how do we manage it? It what was we... a uh, a bunch of emails sent back and forth, really, and it was quite to a... PR people? Yeah. It was... No, just straight to Sebastian. Straight to Sebastian? Yeah. I just said, text him. I said, listen, Sebastian... Here's my email. Mm. Reach out when you want to have a mm. chat. Yep. When you want to talk about the world. Yep. When you want to talk about all the problems. Are you picking up rubbish? Up, are you up bored? Are you at in Switzerland now? What are you doing? Nothing? Just yeah. pacing around, wishing mm. you were back with a Formula One team? Yeah. You want to talk to us, don't you, Sebastian? Of course you do. Well, tell you what. Here's our number. We're going to text it to you now, mm-hmm. and you can call us. Give us 10 minutes to intro you and give us a buzz. Yeah. Tell us what you've been up to. In 15 minutes, Max. And maybe some predictions from you. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Mm. Sebastian's predictions. Yeah. How would he think about Alonso? Mm. What if he's on board? Mm. Or is he? does he have some regrets? He has some animosity. Well, he mm. would have got a nice little paycheck from the Strolls. Would have, wouldn't he? Mm. God, blimey, those guys pay well. They have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> What's coming up in this podcast, Luke? What do we got for you? Well, we're going to, uh, as a welcome back to Formula One, welcome back to Thank you, you Thank into you, the Luke. Formula One world. We're going to rank the liveries because let's, uh, a few of them have launched parts of their car. Let's let's be honest. Mm. This is livery season. It's not launch season. Right. They launch their car, but it's really just a new paint job, paint yep. scheme, just to show off the new sponsors. Um, show the new race suits, race helmets uh, before they go testing in Bahrain. Because that's happening in a week or two. Yeah, Bahrain. Yeah, yeah. So, what are we? Th- are you expecting any change? Any change to the the pecking order, or are you thinking it's going to be twenty twenty two all over again? I think you know. I think Mercedes will definitely be closer up towards where Red Bull are. Mm. Um, a three-way a tussle would be nice. It could be a three-way. Yeah, yeah, It'll yeah. start as a three-way. Oh, who doesn't have a good three-way? Like? And then it will just peter out to a two-way. Well, because Ferrari then, will just eat shit somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, they've got a new boss, a new team boss, fresh from Sauber. I don't say he's fresh. He's been around a fair while. Mm. Um, but Fred Vasseur. Oh, the Vaseline man. The funny, yeah. funny Fred in smooth. red. Smooth. Vaseline. Good operator. Um, he's a smooth operator, mm. which will work well with Carlos Sainz. Um, yeah. But I think Ferrari got a new new boss. Mm-hmm. He's, he's a funny man. Oh, Has good. A good sense of humor. Oh, yeah. Um, and I do see good things for Ferrari this year. I hope it's just a battle. Mm. I don't have a horse in this race. No. I don't have favoritism to a team. Well... Surely we're going for Piastri, aren't we? Oh, of course we're going for a driver in Piastri. But, but not a actual there's team. There's no team. As, like, back, I was a huge Ferrari fan, Love Ferrari. Williams, for me. It was a Willi- It was the, the camel colour. It was the yellow. It was the blue. Mm, the blue. Watching that and the uh, the traditional Marlboro. Yep. The old, who, packet of Winnie Blues, packet of Marlboro. And Rothmans. Camels, Rothmans. You it's all it. about the cigarettes, As soon it? as the cigarettes were gone, Williams were fucked. Yeah, terrible. Cigarette money dried up. They were fucking horrible. Yeah. Oh, bring, 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 back the, bring back the fags. Bring back the... <laughs> bring, back, bring back cigarettes everywhere. Bring back Vettel. Oh, sorry. Bring back cigarettes. We're not, we need Marlboro back in business. We need Camel, Rossmans, maybe Winnie Blues. Cool. Cool. Have a cool... Horizon. Players. Yeah, even the cheap brands. Mm. We don't care. Just yeah. get some more cigarette money into Formula One. Yeah. Ferrari's still doing it anyway. Well, They're still getting course, money yeah. from Mission. Philip Morris. Yeah. Mission Widow. Mission Widow. What the fuck is nice that? Nice try. Yeah, vape. Uh, assholes. Anyway, sorry. Move on. Um, I do believe it'll be a tighter race. Everyone will sort of know where the cars are at, but everyone's going to improve except for Williams. Um, are you expecting anyone to stand out and jump up into the next category? You've got your top tier. Mm. You've got your Red Bulls. You've got your Mercedes and your Ferrari. And you've got your middle, the middle tier, Alpine. Yeah. McLaren. Who else would you put in there? Uh, Aston Martin. Aston Martin. Could they make a jump this year? Alpha Tari. A lot of money. Mm. Alpha Tari. They were a bit disappointing last year. Mm. Who's going to make a leap? Can you make a prediction now? Is it too early? Haas. Leap backwards? No, forwards. Forwards. Well, they can't go for They're further backwards. Jump like. forward. They can't go any further back. Yep. They're going to jump forward. Well, they can. They can go further back because Alpha Tari and Williams were behind them in the Constructors Championship, so they can go backwards. 
but I don't think so. They really? got two very good and experienced drivers. They got yeah. Gunter Steiner cracking the whip. Yeah. You got Suck My Balls Magnuson. Yes. And yeah. you've got ne- the talented Nico Hulkenberg. How did Nico? The two. Why? Well, how? How is he back? What's going on? Daniel mm. Ricciardo wiped the floor with him at Renault. Yeah, but how the, is he even back? He's back because they. Daniel didn't want to go to Haas. He didn't want to go to a team that just... Did they offer him the seat? Of course they did. They did? They did. Because I didn't hear that was the case, but that's he, a, you're saying he was that's giving, the case. Well, McLaren's given him $20 million to have a year off. Yes. Right? And, Correct. But they gave him the option that he could drive for anyone else that he, if he found a seat. And when all the, the teams sort of got snaffled up, mm. um, Alpine didn't really want him back. They wanted Gasly. Yes. He didn't want to go to Alpha Tauri. Haas with the option... Um, and when the Oscar Piastri thing went up, we saw that Alonso was going to Aston Martin and Piastri was going to McLaren. So everything was kind of settled. For some reason, they kept Joe at uh, Alfa Romeo. They kept Yuki mm. Tsunoda at Alfa Tauri. I know. What's um, with that? And Williams went with Logan Sargent. Um, a new yeah, young boy, a new I, American boy. Are you surprised that they didn't get young Doohan? He's, the, he's, he's now driver. their reserve driver for Alpine, but... I. You know, he didn't win the GP or the Formula well, 2. Well, he's done more than Sargent, hasn't he? He's shown more potential. Well, for Williams, But then yeah. Sargent's American, and they well, they really want an American driver in there. Yeah. And rightly so. Let's yeah. get some more interest in America. Yeah, get yeah. more American drivers. I think if you're going to try and get a, a, a leading American driver, I think you'd be looking at, at IndyCar to get mm. quality um, American drivers, like your herders, um, or... Uh, as I said, the New Gardens. Anyone like that's still a little bit young enough to be able to produce in Formula One. Um, yeah. I think there's a lot of talent there that they just probably will never ever touch with the 10 foot pole. Mm. There seems to be this this pit of despair ever since, you know, Zanardi didn't quite work out. Yep. Montoya, he, he came from Champ. Andretti and didn't did turn a, out. Did a great job. Going back even further. Michael Andretti got fucked with McLaren. Um, but, you know. He wasn't as good as his dad. No, he wasn't. But Don't tell him. I do want to see uh, Andretti. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Oh, yes. Um, yes, Luke. But we're going to rank deliveries. Oh, goody. Um, so we're going to you flash up. up. And uh, what I would like to see maybe for the next podcast is have yeah. some kind of. Could we? Breasts. Some nudie A large photo? set of tits. Oh. No, something that, you know, something, it says effing on podcast. Yeah. But it's actually done by your kids. Oh, that is a brilliant idea. So it's just. Scribbled That's in. A great idea, Luke. This is F1 podcast, yep. just so everyone at home knows. In crayon. And and I don't have to worry about filling this space with the a Which dodgy it logo. works because we have got crayons, mm-hmm. we've got paper, yep. and we don't have a budget. So, oh. hey. Perfect combination. And, and then it looks like we're kind of being empathetic and we're fun and we're sensitive. We we love kids. Yep. We Embody all of those things on F1 podcast. Kids, hand but jobs for the homeless, hand jobs for the, the homeless. meth museum, meth. the Rang Grand Prix. It goes on and on, Luke. Everything says Co- uh, community members. Yeah, community sensitive. We embrace all members, societies, races, inclusive pronouns, cultures. Correct. Spasticities. Good thing I didn't do my blackface today. I was going to do blackface. And we have to wear pants because this is on YouTube. <coughs> and one of the stipulations is, for the guidelines, we have to wear pants. Yeah. Although those pants you're wearing are tight and I can see a lot. It's just too much. We yeah. need to go for something a bit more neutral. A neutral colour. If you wouldn't mind. Yeah, there we go. You'd Bloody never know. Hung like a fucking horse. Good for you. <laughs> should turn the... The temperature down on the air conditioning. And it's cold we in here. We have air conditioning. <laughs> Imagine if it was room temperature in here. Yeah. Frightening. Frightening. <laughs> okay, let's look at the liveries. What do we got first? Who's up first? Is this the colours they're all going for, though, Luke? This is Red Bull. Okay. Well, that doesn't look very different, You does just it? voted for Alpine as the best Oh, I did not, did livery. I? You dog shit. Here it is. Anyway, Red Bull, yellow nose, has a Red Bull behind it, and the rest of it's fucking blue. Dark blue. Okay. Um, can we get any better photos than that? Of course we can. But I don't want to vote. No, you voted. Well, you voted to, for our well, pain. I just want to have a look at it. Oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> what a stupid website, Formula One. That's, that's, that's the best we can do. There you right, go. That's not bad. Pre- that's okay. You that's can pretty see good. that yeah. with your eyesight. Yeah. Just bring it a little bit closer. A little bit closer. I can't see if I can think so, of it. Yeah, no, yeah. Good. Also, there is uh, a new compound this year. They've gone from five compounds to six. Okay. Instead of the C1 to C5, there's mm. now the C0. Oh, nice. To the C5. Good. 
Just when it couldn't get more confusing. That's great. So that's the Red Bull. It's yeah. uh, what are you giving that a vote? Uh, out we, of ten, you got to give a vote. Are we out doing of 10. it? Out of, do it. Okay. Out of 10. Okay. Let's do a Keith Lee. It's hard to out of ten. It's always hard the first one though. You don't know what you don't want to overshoot because you might see no you don't overshoot. Know what you're oh, I'm going to give that a. It looks as it looks like every other Red Bull look. Delivery looks the same. The car looks good. Matte finished. It's good. It's. Okay. I like a matte finish. The the blue's a bit darker, perhaps. The body of the I, I'm just going to give it a four. A four. Pretty. Pretty uninspiring for I mean, me. In terms of originality, it's low. It's very low. Um, Compared to last year's car. The car looks nice. It looks fast. Mm. But, of course, this launch photo is going to mean fuck all because when you go to the first test and the first race, look like this will be a completely different spaceship. So I would have to go, yeah, I'm going to go a 4.5 out of 10. All right. 4.5. 4.5. Okay. Being very specific. I was point... thinking of point No, that's six. good. 0. 0.5. That's good. Right. Okay. Next one. All Moving right. on over. We're going to Moving see the Ferrari. Over. Hello, Ferrari. What you got for oh, us? What have you done? Oh, what have I done here? This is, he's new to technology. These touch screens, Luke. What what decade are we living in? This is the future. Oh, that's okay, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's his zoomed oh, in. Oh, it's red. Here. Yep, no surprises. That's Ferrari's red. red. Ferrari. Uh, it's got some black bits. It's got mm. an interesting front wing, which is apparently Mercedes tried that kind of front wing and they couldn't get it past uh, the legal people. Oh. But uh, I think Ferrari's mm. probably... You know, as they do with the FIA, sling them a bit of money yeah. and they can get away with it. Ferrari can do anything. Uh, it looks red. It looks nice and fast. There's some nice black accents. Mm. Um, but yeah. Yeah, uninspiring. I mean, if you're Ferrari, you're not really going to go and throw a different color at your car, are you? Not much you can do with it. You have to go red. Yeah. So. It's a nice uh, red. It's a nice red. I'll give it a four. All right, I'm going to give it a 5.2. Oh, nice. Out of 10. 5.2, Luke. 5.2 Very out of 10. nice indeed. Any other nice yeah. aspects of that car that you want to highlight there? Um, Any changes? It's just an update of last year's car, is it? Just a bit more bit more. Pretty much. And as I said, they're not really going to show off. This is more about paint jobs. Um, yeah. Paint jobs and hand jobs. It's what yeah, we're all about here in the FM1 podcast. Let's mm. move it on over to the Mercedes team, third in the Constructors' Championship. Oh, they've gone back to black, baby. Back in black. Bam, bam, that's what I was hey, I love that. Yeah, no, that's better. I didn't like the silver. I liked the two years they went all black. Mm. That was good. It looks smart, doesn't it? And you got that accent, that stripe down the side, the aqua stripe. The Patronus to yeah, show off their sponsor. That is a beautiful look. And that's going to stand out in the pack. You're going to know straight up. I mean, at night time, you hear won't, but... No, that's true. Mm. But... um. I think the accented aqua will pop out. Would yep. nice pop. You've in got the, the uh, Lewis Hamilton forty four in very nice bright yellow. Very nice. And I'm guessing George Russell will have um, sixty three in blue as mm. he did last year. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, it looks nice. It looks tidy. I like the black. Um, but I'm gonna give it uh, a six. Six yeah. point one. I'm gonna go a seven on that, Luke. Seven. Lock in a seven for me, thanks, buddy. Jesus. Yeah, black. I love that look. I'm glad they've. I mean, that was very popular, the black car, wasn't it? Yeah, it won some races. Yeah. It's also, um, correct me if I'm wrong, mm. um, it's a lighter car. It's not as heavy with the black paint, Luke. Yeah. Is There's that, less layers of paint. Less layers, because it's um, more of the actual, they've in integrated the actual colour. And they've got the, uh, you can't see it really here with this photo, but that area right there is that is where the Nicky Lauda red um, Mercedes logo that they have to to pay homage ah, to uh, oh, Nicky little, Lauda. Yeah, little accents of so red we, and yeah. aqua and yellow in there. Very nice. Now, the fourth in the Constructors' Championship was the Alpine. Mm, it's changed a bit. It's less less of the sky blue. Less of the blue, less of the pink. Apparently, the they, pink. they've launched two. So okay. they've launched okay. pink yeah. and they've launched blue and pink. Okay. Because okay. last year, they did that for the first two races. They were mm. all pink. I mm. um, don't know why. I think they're just the BWT sponsorship clearly have some kind of agreement. Mm. But also, a lot of the teams are going black mm. in regards to saving weight with saving paint. Saving weight with paint, Luke. Because so coloured paint just is showing, heavy. They're just showing the, the carbon. Showing the carbon fibre. Mm. So that's what they're doing here, you think? Just trying to make it a little lighter by having 10% less paint? Yeah. yeah I've got to be much. honest. I'm disappointed. Mm. I'm disappointed, Luke. I miss... I thought last year's car looked good because it was predominantly sky blue with mm. the with the pink. It stood out. Mm. And I think it's lost a bit of its appeal. So I'm going to go a five. Five? I'm going to go five. Five. Lee. I'm going to go, 
I like the black between the the pink and the the blue. I like that. Oh, you love your your pink bits. Mm. Just one at a time. Bit of black in the pink bits. Yep. Um, two in the poo, one in the <sighs> goo. Was it? Two in the goo, one in the poo. Something like that, Luke. <laughs> you wouldn't know. I wouldn't know, Luke. I've been in a monastery on top of the mountain. I haven't been, haven't said a word. These are my first words yeah. today. Well, you answered me podcast. in complete silence until we turned the mics on. I texted you. I said, I'll be there. Hmm. Can't chat. Hmm. I'll be there. Hmm. When I said, F1 podcast, that was my first word for a year. All right. Sorry. Um, so what are you I'm going to give that, uh, I'm going to give it a 5.6. Okay. Nah, rightly so. Rightly so. Next, we see the McLaren. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. They've also mm. got an extra splash of black. A lot of black. A Again, lot of black. to save paint. Yeah. Interesting. Paint savers, they are. Um, interesting. Because they think that that fucking gram of paint is going to make a lick of difference mm. how slow their car is. 60 years of McLaren. They got the sponsorship. They still have some... Uh, mm. You know what they need, Luke? Yeah, what they need... What's going to make them quicker? Cigarette advertising on that. What they need is a Marlboro man, they need a man on a, a horse and a hat. They need West. Yep. Yes. Oh, wasn't that a beautiful looking car? One of my favourite looking cars of all time. I know, Thank that's you why for I said reminding it. me. Yeah. What a beautiful car. Yeah. I can't even remember what it looks like now. It had silver and black. Silver, Correct black, if I'm wrong. hint of red. The, the red. Oh, yes. David Coulthard. David Coulthard, Mika Hakkinen. Mika Hakkinen. I always yeah. thought that David Coulthard got the rough edge of the, the straw. He did. Uh, he, he deserved to win, mm. but um, didn't quite have it. No. Had his, had his, you know, on the day he was he very good, but um, he didn't he's quite like put the, it together. He's like the um, the Mark Webber of... Oh, <laughs> like the Mark Webber of Red Bull. Gosh, isn't that... Well, we've got to go back to oh, rating this livery. Sorry. I'm Fucking, so, there's another one over here. Oh, Let me sake. do the touch screen. You do the touch screen, Luke. All right, so we've got McLaren. Yeah, I, look, I don't dislike it. Mm -hmm. I think... It's too busy for me. It's very busy. It's kind of... It reminds me of like a coloured printer. Like a modern it looks art like installation. A, it's like a modern art install. Thank you, Luke. Yeah. You'd find in Let's Melbourne some or something. Here. Let's put some shapes there. Let's drink a coffee. On a wall, off. sitting at a cafe in Melbourne in those alley streets. Yep. That's what that looks like. Graffiti. Yeah. Uh, not a fan of graffiti, Luke. <laughs> no. And not really I a fan see of this. You. Whenever you see graffiti, you're I straight on the phone to right the council the, going, yep. here's some graffiti. Someone's yep. tagged the, the hot. Is this again. the hotline? <laughs> I'd like to report some graffiti. There's some kids, some teenagers. Anyway, they're whiff uh, and paint. Yeah. I'm going to give that a. Oh, look, I liked last year's car. I'm just going to do this based on last year's car. I'm going to give it a four. Four. I like the orange from last I'm year. I'm also going to give it a four. Good. Not even going to decimals. Oh, about. now you've got my attention. Here we go. Now this is you've the got Alfa my Romeo. attention, Luke. Well, that's a surprise. Red, black. Red and black. Red and black. That is a surprise. Where the black has replaced, well, like most cars, they're putting a lot of black. It's replaced the white. But in this instance, I think it works. I like it. They've it got a looks new sponsor. Good. The sponsor is called Steak. Very nice. Tasty. Uh, as if you're burnt at the steak, that's why there's more black in More it, black, still red. It's medium. Yep. It's like a medium steak. It's red in the middle, black on the outside. Char grilled. Hot. Nice. Hot, fast. Ooh. I want some steak now. You got to cook it hot and fast. Pepper hot salt, fast. hot, fast. That's exact, Let it rest. That's exact. That's been what has, <laughs> that has been termed for my sexual exploits. Hot and fast, red right in the middle. <laughs> oh, you nailed that. Mm. That's what they like. That's what they say. How's it? How is your relationship going? It's still going. Good. T the drugs are wearing off though. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to give the Alfa Romeo oh, livery? I like it, Luke. I dare say this is my favourite so far. Well, it's up there with Mercedes. Mm. I don't know. What did I give Mercedes? A seven. Mm. Is that right? I'm going to give it a 7.5. I'm going to give it an 8.2. Oh! 8.2 out of 10. Oh, 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 oh. Now we're going to the Alfa, sorry, mm. the Aston Martin. Mm. Yeah. This will be piloted. By Fernando Alonso. Oh, he must be chomping at the bit. He, he can't must. wait to get out there, Luke. I think he's less chomping and more you happy with his paper. You know what he's going to do? First lap of the race. First race of the year. Arms out the window. Alpine. <laughs> That's what he's going to do. 
Yep. <laughs> he can't wait. Fuck you, bastards. Can't wait. And they've put some money into this. The wind tunnel? Yes, they've put in a good. whole... Things are moving yep. in the right direction. Wind tunnels, new infrastructure, new buildings. Lots of cash. Lots of cash. Alonzo in the seat. Jeez, it's an exciting time. I'm looking forward to this season just to see how this relationship... Yeah. If this is, goes well, this could be a ripper. And for a paint scheme, a livery? Mm, I love it. And how do you I, rate it? I love it. I do like it. It's a little extra black from last year, mm -hmm. but um, they've stayed true to their... So it's not a big change. It's a little bit lighter, I think. Okay. Well, I, yeah, it's okay. I'm mm -hmm. just going to go a six. Six? Yeah. Yeah. The black I was, works. I think the extra black works. Yeah, I'm going to go a 6.2. That's what I was thinking. So, so far, our favourite is... Is the Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo. Yep. Right on. The Hassholes. Yeah. The MoneyGram Hassholes. Okay. Okay. So you got the white. Mm. Yeah. All right. A lot of black. <laughs> it's a theme. A lot of Less black. Less white. Uh, it's going to be a visual spectacle for all the photographers out there. Got a lot of black to mm. work with. It's going to be fun. I don't know. doesn't do much for me, to be honest. Mm. I'm going to give that a... A five. I'm giving it a three. Oh, a three. Haas. Bit rough. Next, the Alpha Tauri. Now, Ooh, this looks like a this is bit of a CGI thing. It doesn't really look real. doesn't look real. I don't even know what color that is. It looks like a the old Formula One games. The old yeah. shitty ones. Yeah. They've just chucked yeah. a halo on it. Yeah. So, similar to what last year, there's a couple of little red bits. Little red bits. Bit of extra black as well, perhaps. Yeah. On the wing. Uh... I'm not that inspired by it, Luke. It doesn't do much for me. I'm going to give that a five. I'm giving it a 4.6. Mm, okay. Jeez, you're very specific with your scores today. Hugely specific. Yeah. And we got one team left. Okay. Ooh, hello. What's this? Is that an Alpine? No. It's not an Alpine. Not an Alpine. What is that? Scratch your eyes. <laughs> hello. Let me just have a double take, Luke. Hang on, wait. Huh? Wait, let me try again. Let's do it together. <laughs> what is that? What are we looking at? That's a Williams. We're looking at a Williams. Hmm. Are you sure? Oh. Yep. Okay. Definitely. You can tell it's a Williams because there's no sponsors on this. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. No, good call. Good call. Why would there be? Hmm. Um, <laughs> who's driving Mom, for them? Can you sponsor us? No. <laughs> Any chance you could? No. <laughs> they do a whip brand. They're going door to door knocking. <laughs> Can you sponsor the Williams Formula One team? Hello, I'm Alexander Albon. Um, I'm your local member of your Formula One team. Any chance you could... No? Okay, bye. They've got a Cronus. Big shout out to a Cronus. Thanks for uh, helping out a small and struggling team. It's kind of mm. like hand jobs for the homeless. It's very much. You know what they could do with a sponsor like hand jobs for the homeless? I mean, they've got plenty of spare paint. Yes. They've got heaps of area we could take up. Yep. And if they just put, just for a charity, one race, yep. hand jobs for the homeless. Just an image of a fist <laughs> and a sausage being squashed. And just a, yeah, <laughs> bit of cream, like a cream bun. Yeah. Just on the side. Perfect the room side. for it. Perfect. Hand jobs for the homeless. That is the official, isn't it, the uh, the icon for hand jobs? It's just a fist and it's a shaft. <laughs> and goo. And some goo. Yeah. Um, we should pop that on there. Off-coloured goo. Yep. That would... I think it would look so much better. Oh, I mean, it's a nice beautiful, car. Beautiful, but yes, with hand jobs for the homeless sponsorship mm. on the side, Luke. Bloody hell. Oh, it's a good looking car, Luke. Mm. <clears throat> I like it. It's one of my favourites. Oh. I think. Out of 10? Well, it's not up there with Mercedes. It's next tier. It's not Mercedes. It's not Alfa Romeo. It's number three for me. Number three? Giving you a 6.5. 6.5. Uh, I'm going to give it a 6.8. Okay. Quite like it. <laughs> so, uh, you've gone. My with number one. Alfa? Alfa Romeo? Oh, did I say Alfa Romeo first? Or did, I say, did I say Mercedes, Luke? Oh, gee. R Maybe, rewind the tape. Let's rewind. Rewind the tape. I don't remember now. I think... So there they are. Oh, all right. Side by side. Okay, so we're going to the grand final now. This is the grand final match. The previous score, irrelevant. This is the grand final. Brand new scores now. Head, head to head. head. The Super head. Bowl. It's a Super Those Bowl. Memories. What a game. Did you watch that game? I watched a bit of it. I was in TAFE, yeah. Were you? I was having some beers, beers. down at the uh, Crafties, Harbour Town. Oh, yes. Chicken wings. Three kilos of chicken wings. I, <laughs> not I, myself, a couple of mates. We put away. Beer. What a game. Good right down it. to the last minute. Yeah, I saw, what I a saw game, the last, Luke. like, 10 that minutes. That never happens in a grand final or mm. a Super Bowl or a, your last. I was supposed to be focusing on class, but I was kind of concentrating on God, that. it was a good game. Um, I actually turned off at half time. Because did you? I didn't want to watch. <laughs> yeah. 
the half you were time supposed to study. Oh, half time in. That was fat. Rihanna. Good. She was amazing. Out of 10? Luke, I'm giving her a 9.5. Oh, oh, oh. 9.5 Rihanna. Of the year. Rihanna. She was wearing all red. It was more inspiring than Ferrari. Yeah. A lot more inspiring. She's fantastic. Mm. Um, Mercedes okay. versus head to head. Alpha. Head to head. Oh, right, shit. let's make a decision. Who do we like better? Which is the best livery, Luke? Fe One Podcast officially says... Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo. Congratulations. Well done, Alfa Romeo. You've what won a fucking surprise. What the underdogs. Well, wow, this could be a good year for them. This could be a good omen. Well, they're top of the championship already. They're already winning. The good-looking championship. Do they get an extra bonus point? Yeah. We have a qualifying point. Do we still do the qualifying point this year? No, no qualifying point. Taking rid of that. Get Got rid of that. No, you get Fastest nothing. lap. No. Nothing. No. no. They still get Take. fastest lap if you're in the top 10, but you don't get qualifying points. You don't get any points for it? No, you get fuck all. Good. You get good-looking points. This is what... It works in society. Correct. They get to the front of the queue. That's a hot lady that gets so served got... first at the bar. Alfa Romeo. We've got Mercedes. Who was your next one? Alfa Romeo, you sweetheart. Free drinks for Alfa Romeo. There you go. Um, yeah, so one, Alfa Romeo. Two, Ferrari. I think I said Williams. Three. You did say Williams. What do you say? Uh, I would go Alfa Romeo. Uh, I will also... I think I might have to re- rewind what I said. Mm. It definitely wasn't these cunts. Uh, no, I, I do quite like the Mercedes. Yeah, you said that number two. But number th- I think number three, you're also on board with the Williams. Williams or Ferrari. No, Ferrari, look it's, at them. It's red. Uninspiring. It's the same as every other yeah, it's year. A, it's a nice red. Yeah, but they're always going to have a nice red. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Alfa Romeo, congratulations. Mm. Well deserved, Luke. They love, uh, They deserve that. They yeah. really deserved it. And we'll go through oh, a... Driver move. lineups. Yep. Can we look at the drive? What are the changes this year? Some things have changed. Some people have moved. Some yep. people have fucked off. Yep. Um, we've got Red Bull. Um, nothing's really changed too much with them. Mad Max Verstappen is uh, has got the number one. Mm. Sergio Tier One, a Tusla Perez yeah. in the number eleven. Uh, they've got a new reserve driver though. Yes, I don't they know if do. you've heard of him. Very exciting, Luke. Mm. Very exciting. He's got his year off. He's got a lot of money got to t- sit around and do bugger all. Yep. But the honey badger mm. is waiting in the wings, waiting for Perez to screw up. What do you think? What's your prediction? Halfway through the year, if bye I- bye Perez. They could kick Perez out. Chico Mendes is on borrowed time. Yeah. Has he got a year? Has he got two? What's Not his sure, contract? but What's his contract are they willing to pay him out? Uh, Christian, the uh, whiny Spice Horner, he has said that um, this is the best driver pairing they've ever had. <laughs> he a, says that What every a fucking year. comedian. What a comedian. Yeah, that's, that's how he landed his wife. Yeah. Um, with that great <laughs> one line he pulls out. Uh, Daniel, the bench warmer Ricardo, mm. we coined him this year. Yeah, bench warmer Ricardo. The bench warmer. Yeah, nice. He's sitting there. He's waiting. Yeah. He's waiting. Waiting in the in wings. wings. Um, yeah, so not too He's, much. Could you imagine him around the garage just giving Perez a bit of a look? Oh, don't fuck up, mate. Hey, Perez, good luck out there. He's got no pressure. He can go oh. around He can go around the entire oh. garage and just make friends with every single one of them. Oh, imagine. Can and then you... start talking oh, shit. Oh, just stand up jokes. He's got Netflix in his face the whole time. Netflix, come with me, mate. I'll give you a bit of a tour. I'll give you a tour. Here's Davo. There's Julie. She does the she does the the baguettes over here. We got Davo. We got Jono. Oh, look at this Perez. Look how scared he is. Oh, Perez. Shit, you dax. Oh, you suck, Perez. <laughs> Coming to get you. Oh, this is going to be amazing. That was a bit of a Scott Morrison there. Was one. it? Yeah, you oh. little... Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Like, like, fuck, is that ScoMo? Former, former Australian Prime Minister. Yeah, very get him, good. Get him on the show. Get him on. Get him on. Huh? He's a big fan. Uh, Ferrari. Scuderia Ferrari. You've got Charles Leclerc, the chosen one, mm. uh, and Carlos Minifon signs, uh, and Antonio Pizza delivery oh, man. Giovinazzi, Giovinazzi is the reserve driver. Good on him. He's found a spot for himself. And Fred in red, Vaseline Vasseur. Vaseline. He is uh, the new boss yeah. after Matteo Bonotto said, uh, mm. I will duck out for uh, some milk, <laughs> and he never came back. Yeah. A coloni. A boccolone is the real letter. Oh, uh, yeah. Mercedes, Lewis Dushkanu Hamilton. Uh, and the number 44, 63, boy George Russell, uh, reserve driver. Yes. Uh, Mick's dad is Ralph Schumacher Schumacher. Oh. Mm, Mick Schumacher is the reserve driver Mick now. Mick Schumacher is the reserve driver. For Mercedes. He's uh, doing a bit of a, 
Dan Badger Ricardo just mm. hanging around, but I can't imagine him actually getting a drive. If you were George Russell or Lewis Hamilton, would you feel threatened mm. by <laughs> by little Schumacher? <laughs> no, you wouldn't, would you? We just don't want you to crash our car, mate. That's oh, all. That's the yeah. reason why I lost his gig. Just don't smash shit. Don't walk into. Oh, he's walked into that thing again. Oh, the tools. He's knocked the toolkit over again. Mm. That's about as much. Yeah. Damage as he's going to do. And also, another thing on Ferrari is how much can Fred Vasseur change the culture of Ferrari to fuck up less, mm. have smart strategies, mm. and be a little bit ruthless? I'm going to say less Italians. Mm. You'd hope so. You'd hope so. You need to get some organised people. The Germanic people are organised. The Germans. And the, the boss. The Dutch. The boss of Mercedes. The Brits. The Terminator Toto Wolf. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. He's there. Pretty much status quo, except they've chucked um, uh, Mick. Mm, a lifeline. My dad is Ralph Schumacher. Yeah. I don't know if you guys realise, but my dad's important. Mm. So I'm just here. I'm not here because of my dad. I'm just, you know. Everyone thinks he's Michael Schumacher's. But if you've seen the way he drives, he drives just like his uncle. <laughs> Shit ass. <laughs> yes. Um, so they might need a paternity test for that. Alpine. <laughs> Alpine. Yeah. Oh, it's all French. It's all French, isn't it? French team, two French drivers. Ugh. How fucking boring. They're going to surrender. Is there anything worse than a French team having two French drivers, Luke? You've just, Esteban Ocon. What a fucking snooze fest. The French stick. Oh, and we've got fuck. Pierre Gasman Gasly. They Ima- don't like each imagine other. Imagine the whinging that's going to oh. come out of that garage. They should, they'll have a whinging room, which will be like this. Yeah. Now get in there and you can... Oh. Go and let loose. Yeah. Have a whinge. It'll need to be soundproof. There's going to yeah. be that much whinging. Fuck. And the, imagine the white flags they're going to pop up for the, oh, surrendering. Is that the last the lap? No, no, that's them whinging. Of, I'm tired. I cannot go another lap. I cannot do it without one. I'm so sorry. We have another lap. I cannot go another lap. Yeah, that's insane. That's very good. Thank you. Esteban Ocon. <laughs> it's just like him. Very much so. Um, we might get him on the show. Yeah, we'll get him on the show. All, all the drivers love this podcast, Luke. Yeah. Although we're not very popular with the general public, except for the Tweed Heads Bowls mm. Club and the Pocket in the States, mm. the Foley Brothers. Yep. The Formula One Paddock love this oh, podcast. Yes. Because it's surpri- we come across <laughs> unknowledgeable. Of course. Don't, don't, don't we, Luke? I mean, let's be honest. We haven't had a piece of you know succinct knowledge between us in coming up to our fifth year. No. Not a single prediction has ever come right. No. <laughs> but there's some inside information on this podcast mm. that is very relevant to the Formula One yep. team. What have we got? Yeah. <laughs> Mazepin's a rapist? Yes. They love You're that. You're all afraid to say it? Yeah. Mad, he's a rapist. Even Huss love that. They, 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 they don't say it, but they, they were love fine it. fine with it for two years. They just, they smirked at it. They went. And as soon as they're like, oh, yeah. wait. Well, you yeah. can't take your money. So, all right, off you fuck. Off you fuck. Yep. That's so just... loyal. Um, so the the French stick and gas man gassy. We also have Jack doing it doing. Oh, the Aussie He's boy. He's the reserve driver, the official we've reserve got, driver of Alpine. We've got two Aussie boys in the wings yeah. as reserve drivers. Yeah. My prediction is Jack Doohan is going to be in his own seat legitimately in the next couple of years. Mm. I think he's going to win F2 this year. You reckon? I think he's going to win F2. I his hope hot so. favourite, in my mind, his hot favourite. <laughs> As you drink more tea. Oh. <laughs> that's that's your hot favourite right there. Thank you very much. Um, we could have three Aussies on the grid. Yeah, and you got Otmar Saf now. Um, again. Yeah. Dull. Dull. Oh, God. Boring. If it wasn't for that splash of pink on that car, you mm. wouldn't even know it was there. No. Pointless. You pay no attention Absolutely to it. I reckon everyone pointless. should just turn their back. It's just a dull outfit, isn't it? Like With that. no Fernando Alonso, who are you rooting for? Oh. Unless you're Ocon's family I, yeah. or Gasly. There's a lot of women that like Gasly. Yes. There is an insane amount of women. Yeah. My girlfriend as well. Is that right? Loves Pierre Gasly. Really? Yep. They've never met him, obviously, like we have mm. in the paddock. Yep. Have you told her that? Well, I didn't get in the paddock. I was outside the paddock. That's true. I was the paddock in the paddock. Correct. Outside the paddock. Did, but did you tell her that he's like four foot two? Mm. That changes when you tell a woman that they don't like short guys. No, they shouldn't. No. And if you're a short man, grow up. Yeah. Um, here we've got McLaren. Mm. 60 years. Feeling it. They sure are. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Lando Chuck Norris. 
in the number four. And they still have no idea what's wrong with their car. And there's a new bloke. <laughs> a new bloke. Oh, the new boy. Yes. Oh, a bit tough ask. He's got a tough ask. And the Oscar goes to Piastri, the French drama. Oh, I love it. Mm. So I love it. you all know what happened. Mm. Um, Oscar Piastri uh, didn't have a contract, a valid contract with Alpine. Once uh, they tried to get Fernando Alonso, he announced he's buggered off to Aston Martin. Mm. So Alpine has gone back and gone, all right, we're going to make... Oscar, yeah. our driver. Oscar. He's a man. He's a man. We love him. He's yep. great. We love him. We really wanted him. Because we've got him under contract. And he's he, our he backup plan. And he said he's going to drive for us. Yep. Oh, what? Turns out it wasn't true. The contract was not valid. And therefore, he was free to sign with anyone else. And a lot of people are like, that's not loyal. Um, Lotus, uh, sorry, Renault and Alpine had paid your way for so many years. What a load of shit. But... I mean, if you sit there waiting in the wings, let's just let's put this in a relationship. You're mm. waiting in the wings. Yes. You're sitting there waiting for the chance to be with a girl, and that yep. girl doesn't want you. No. She wants this other bloke, and he's yeah. fucked off to but be with some other But she's just keeping you there. Tart. They're just keeping you there, though, showing you a little bit of attention, a little glance. Oh, you're good. A little touch yeah. on the leg here and there. One day I'll, I'll be with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and... Uh, Nothing. And then as soon as the their favourite, mm. Fernando Alonso, understandably so... Yep. Decides that he's going to jump ship. Yep. They're like, oh, we love you. We want yep, you. Yep. Too late. Too late. I'm going with that hot chick at the bar. The man who's moved on. I'm going to The team that, that moved heaven and earth to fuck off Daniel Ricciardo. Yes. One of the most personable. Yes. Interesting. Sellable, marketable. Exactly. Characters. They've gone, mm. fuck off. You're not good. And he was costing them money because he wasn't earning points. Mm. Mm -hmm. Understandably so. Daniel is still a great yeah. ambassador. He's still a great driver. It's just, just that a car shit car. It was a piece of shit. And even Lando Norris has said that um, yeah. I would rather a more predictable car than a quick car. Mm. He goes, because it was so on edge, yeah. it was a little bit dangerous. You can't drive that. You can't drive that, Luke. You're going to age terribly. Yes. If you have a car like that that you're... And may, maybe Piastri, a young driver, can come in and learn how to drive this piece of shit. Yeah. Because experienced Dan couldn't do it. He Fair couldn't enough. Do it. He, he, was, he was stuck in, in his head. He, in, he was stuck in a good car. Yeah. His mind is stuck in a Red Bull. Yep. And Alpine was like, this is kind of like a Red Bull. It's not as good, but I can make it work. What is this bucket of shit? Yep. What is that? I can't drive that. Lando Norris knows how to drive a bucket of shit. Correct. Correct. And he's young. He's malleable. That's he can it. change his ways. Yes. Like Piastri is. Yep. He'll adapt. He'll learn. He'll feel it. On the edge. But that's not uh, Dan Ricciardo. No. He's, yeah, he's kind of been pigeonholed. And yeah. he's like, you know what? I can't fit in this. I'm just going to have to drive a Red Bull for the rest of my life. I'll yeah. just wait for yeah. old Chico to fuck up. Yeah. And that'll probably happen at some point. Alfa Romeo, the prettiest oh, girl at, at the, the bar. Club. And also, sorry, side note, uh, so McLaren, pretty. they uh, have got uh, Andreas Sider, who was a previous chief, has buggered off. He's gone to Alfa Romeo, which is the Sauber deal that he's made because Sauber will um, eventually take on Audi. And he has a strong relationship with the Audi brand. Oh, okay. um, so Andreas Della, uh, he is now the chief at McLaren. But mm. back to Alfa Romeo. Number 77, the very bogan bear ass Bottas. Oh! Did Bottas. you see him over summer? No, I've not seen him. He has go He went full mullet. Oh, he came he? to Australia, spent Christmas over here oh. with his, his girlfriend, Tiffany Cromwell, who again oh. designed his helmet because he can't do anything else without her. Of course. Imagine when they break oh, up. Those Australian girls, they'll just get their hooks oh. into They get their hooks into you. Yep. You'll never and you're never And um, next thing you know, you're leaving Australia with a bogan haircut. Yep. And he had the he had a mo did and he, he had the bogan haircut and he had he? a and he had a VB shirt on. Oh god. And he was drinking the things as well. <laughs> oh, Australia's greatest beer. VB. You gotta try it. If you haven't tasted it at home, folks, try a VB. Now, when <laughs> I was nine, yeah. great parenting. When I was nine, yeah. that's the first drink that ever touched my lips. Good on you. And I spat it on out. On your birthday, yeah. I spat it because yeah. everyone, every uncle, yeah. every dad, every mm. granddad drank VB mm. and it stank. Yeah. And I'm like, why is everyone drinking this? This must be good. <laughs> I took a swig, I spat it out, yeah, and I'm like, I'm never touching that's alcohol again. Ass. That tastes like ass. And you haven't touched a drop since. No. So there's a good 
A good lesson for people. Get people with kids, kids drunk. Get them on the beer at nine, and they will never drink again. They will either embrace it, yeah, and yeah. you've got an alcoholic for the rest of your life, yeah. or they will uh, turn out like me. Correct. They'll be onto the hard drugs in a pile of shit, or be like you, an upstanding citizen mm. with everything in front of you. Yep. And a lot of men behind me. And a lot, of, yeah. Um, and we have uh, the Great Wall Guan Yu Zhou, mm. or the, the Great Wall Zhou Guan Yu, mm. whichever one you want to call him. Yep. And then we is have... he still there? Yeah. Well, good on him. He's there. He's the wow. Great Wall. He he's... is immovable. Oof, you can boy. see him from space. Good lord, I can't imagine he's going to be there much no one, longer. No one takes a crash quite like that man. No and one... The funny thing is that wasn't even his fault. The one in Silverstone. You no. <laughs> but you know, Formula One needs pay drivers hmm. just to make it fun just to hang shit on the drivers yeah, the funny thing is this cunt's been in Formula 1 and he's waiting for a Chinese Grand Prix and they can't they keep cancelling the yeah. motherfuckers yeah. <laughs> he, he, just he would have to get another year in a Formula 1 to attempt he's, to get a home Grand he's Prix he's going to miss the year that he gets he bows out is the year that the Chinese Grand Prix yeah, will come back, back into yeah, yeah. I love that. That's going to be great news. And then Seidel jumps into the vacancy left by Fred the Red Vaseline Vasser. Yes. Um, so that's yep. how that all went about. Aston Martin. I think Giovinazzi is still technically a reserve drive for both. Oh, okay. So I think that's how that oh, one there works. You go. Um, there you go. Aston Martin. Fernando the Fonzalonzo. Lance Daddy Boy Stroll. Stoffel Van Gorn is the reserve driver with Felipe. Drugstore or Bill Cosby Drugovich. Yes. Oh, he's That's in there. Drug a bitch, not Drugovich. Drug the bitch. Drug a bitch. That's a Bill Cosby reference. Yeah. Long, I like it. long bow there, but Very I Very long in. bow. That's good. Um, um, he won four, uh, F2 last year. He did win F2. Brazilian, um, I believe. Brazilian, but a bit older, and no one really bothered to pick him up. No. Hasn't, no one's really bothered. I don't think it was a very strong field last year for me, no. too. But anyway. I don't think there was. No. But that's going to be an interesting lineup. I mean, you look at Fernando Alonso, the Fonz, he's a volatile personality and mm. we love him. Mm. We love him for it. With Daddy Boy, who owns the team, paid driver, that's going to be. I mean, it's a shame that Lance is there because you do limit your possibilities, don't I th you? I think by the end of the year, well, or by gone. mid mid year, um, Fernando will be called a Fernando Alonso slash Droll. He will like mm. hyphenate his name. He will be taken under uh, Lawrence's wing, and he will be his new heir. Heir wool. Because yeah. he will do something this year that will kick Lance out of the will. Wow! And he will, wow! Yeah. That's a big prediction, Luke. Yeah. Could he win one? Win one? Could he just surprise everybody? He'll do a Bradbury. Wet. It's gonna be a wet race, wet race. somewhere. Slippery. Couple of Ferraris run into like a couple the man, of Red Bulls. The man got crashed into by Stroll and then went on to score a bunch of points. Right. In uh, Austin. Right. The man can drive. The man still can drive. He's in his 40s. I'm loving the prediction, though. Mm. Maybe Throwing it out there. Definitely a podium. I'm thinking throwing a podium. A podium? At least. Let's I'd go a podium. To, I'd love to see a win. Let's go. Uh, I reckon it'll be a win. Oh, that'd be fantastic. And you'll have Lock some kind in. of ridiculous bonus, like a $10 million yeah, win bonus. Yeah. And Lawrence will fucking pay that shit. Oh, absolutely. Um, we've got uh, Harsholes. Money Graham Harsholes. Yes. Kevin Suck My Balls Magnuson mm. and his arch nemesis, the man who said this is unsporting driver, yeah. which made Kevin say Suck My Balls. Mm. Uh, we've got the talented Nico Hulkenberg. Mm. He's back. back. He's back in Formula 1. Nico Hulkenback is back. Nice. And I'm I'm very excited about it. Now, the mm. reason why he's in is because Mick Schumacher was so shit and he kept crashing the car. Now, mm. that crashed the car caused a lot of money. Yeah. Now, since they're under budget cap um, constraints. You can't afford to be replacing and it's not your just, chassis every, every race. And it, it, it was the chassis. Yeah. It wasn't just bits. No. It, was it was the tub. It was the whole thing. The tub. The main survival cell. You're fucking cracking it, yeah. son. Yeah. And uh, speaking of crack, uh, Aston Martin's team boss is Mike Crack. Oh, perfect. Mike Crack and uh, son of dad, Phil. Oh, very good, Phil Crack. Phil Crack. Cousin of Phil Collins. Huh. Yeah, it's a nice relationship there. That's interesting, isn't it? Very. Very interesting. Well, that's a good lineup. I mean, it's so. Both drivers have a Formula very... One pole position. Wow. Nico Hulkenberg got one with Williams. Yep. I think it was Interlagos oh, wow. in Brazil. Yeah, yeah. 
and uh, Kevin did the, the exact same. Oh, maybe Gee, it's going to be a competitive tussle between the two. Mm. I mean, they're, gonna, they're evenly matched. Mm. It's going to be a, a quite a. I mean, it might get a bit a uh, bit racy. The elbows might come out a bit. There'll be elbows, but it, it's going to help the team. Yep. You're not going to have too many accidents. No. It's not going to be. That's why I see them going forward. Y- yeah. Well, absolutely, Luke. Shooting through the roof. Yeah. You don't have the untalented Schumacher and the the Russian no, Mazepin, rapist. Yeah. So that's why Magnuson was back because the rapist didn't have any money, and they mm. called Magnuson and goes because Magnuson had gone right. My career's yeah. done. I'm not going back to Formula One. Mm. Then they rang him and said, "Can you come back?" And he goes, "All right, two year deal though." Yep. And I said, "Okay." His wife wow. wasn't too happy. No, um, no. Because you know they were settled. And yeah, kids very happy. And... Suddenly, I'm out, sweetheart. I've got to go. Yeah. Yeah. Back you, to Formula. You're right with the kids. Yeah. You're okay. Cool. Cool. Um, That's what I'd do. <laughs> don't tell don't tell Haley. She can't Fuck hear it's a soundproof, soundproof room. Proof, good. Perfect. Um, so we've got Alpha Tauri. Number twenty two is the he's the team leader, effectively. Is he really? Yep. Is he? Twenty two. Wow. Yuki Aswari Sonoda and uh, his teammate, Quick Nick De Fries. But um French, call him De Vries. French Fries, he's he's been around a while. He's, he's not a he's, he's Dutch. older. He's Isn't a he? Formula E world champion. Yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. He got it. He got a. He yeah. got one race at Williams when Alexander Albon got appendicitis. Okay. He came in for Monza. Yeah. And he couldn't get out of the car after the race. Really. He had to get mechanics to come and get him out. Because it just appendicitis. No, no, no. Oh. Albon was out for the week. Oh. So Nick got in the car, drove Monza, got a, I think a point or two. Got I think a he got two points. Got a boner. Couldn't get couldn't out. Couldn't get out. You know how. You know. Oh, get a stiffy. See this in the video. Oh God! He was there yeah. in the tub, mm. and you can't, you can't get. No, no. Once you, 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 you take the steering wheel off, you're stuck in there. You still can't get out. You're not going anywhere with a bono so in a he's cockpit. Just stuck there with a massive heart on. Yeah. Just because those bloody. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all the fault of those girls in their little outfits when they stroll past, and he's like, "Well, I'm out. That's it." Sorry to the listeners for that one. You have to cut me out of this thing. So he had to get two mechanics to come around and. And help him out. Give him a hand job. Yeah. Let's finish it off. You have to like, finish it off. All right, we'll get you Can out. Can someone finish me off here? This is not going away. All right. I need a hand job. And now I can get out. Yeah, for the homeless. Yeah. For the Yeah. That's whenever whenever you jerk off at home, don't think of us. No. Think of the homeless. Yeah. Just Try go, not to think about us when you're jerking off. Doing it. <laughs> just do two hands. It's just yeah. exacerbated. Mm. Doing it for the homeless. Doing it for the homeless. I mean, this one's for the if homeless. If that doesn't get you there quicker, I don't know what will. This is for charity. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> don't put it in an envelope and send it to the charity. We no. don't appreciate that. No. We can't open it anyway. Um, Capito, uh, the boss is Caput. Um, and we have the new American driver, Logan Addis Sergeant. Mm. He is the new driver driving the number two, which is Stoffel Van Dorn's old number. Yep. He wanted the number three, but um, the three has to be retired for two years, I think. Okay. So Daniel Ricciardo still has the rights to the number three. Right. Um, but uh, Sergeant, how's, how's he going to go, Logan Sargent? Um, he's got a tough teammate. Albon's pretty, pretty established, pretty quick, pretty quickish, seasoned. isn't he? Yep. He he's doesn't right. fuck up much. No, he's pretty good. He's no Nicholas Latifi, I give him that. Mm. But uh, it'll be interesting. He just got enough um, uh, super license points. Oh, good. To get the He's drive officially in there. Because if he didn't get enough points, he mm. would uh, not have the drive. But uh, he did. He managed to to do it all on the final weekend of the year. Um, but uh, they've got a new boss there with uh, Jos Capito Caput, uh, former Mercedes strategy. Director James Vowles mm. aims to bring some respectability back to the Grove outfit. Yeah. How? Well, after two to three races, he's setting it alight and gathering the insurance money. <laughs> That's a wise pa- move. Yes. That's the only way you can really sort of... It's not much, is there? Not yeah. A lot of... You don't think of Williams as a an exciting outfit anymore, mm. a world championship Who were the, who were the people that, that bought out Mercedes? The Rilton or... Mercedes or Williams? Williams. Williams. Did you say Mercedes. Mercedes? You did. That's okay. It was some, yeah, some big company. It's a conglomerate. Yeah, big conglomerate. Okay. Here's a question. Mm. Here's a question for you. Mm. Out of all the rookies, mm. who's going to perform the best? There's a few. Okay, so you've got Logan, you Sergeant, got Logan. in Williams. Nick you've got Nick DeFries in Alpha Tauri. You've got... Oscar Piastri. No, we're not going to call Nico Hulkenberg. No, he's, no, no, no. he's old. Yeah. And we got um, Oscar. 
Oscar. That's your three. Oscar. All right. Yeah, those three. Out of those three, see, for me, Oscar is obviously the most talented of the drivers, of the rookies, but he's got the biggest problem. He's got a very talented driver. Teammate. Yeah, very talented young mm-hmm. man. And the car's a piece of shit. Mm. So a, we hope it could be less of a piece of shit. And um, the pressure's also on. He won three championships back to back. Pressure's on. I hasn't, mean, hasn't yes, been done before. incredible talent. But that with that comes pressure. People talking about you as the next bloody Charles Leclerc or George Russell because you've won. Well, those guys never won three in a row. They won two in a row. Yeah. This guy's the only guy that's ever won three in a row. So that comes with a lot of pressure as well. Yeah, it does. A lot of expectations. Mm. Um, apparently, the team is saying that he seems very frustrated oh. all the time. Um, Already? Yeah. But uh, the reason he's saying it, they're, they're like, uh, and Andrea Stella, the, the new team boss, is like, it's a good thing. Because cause he always wants more. He's, he's not okay. sort of settling. He's not being oh, quiet. Good. Like He's okay. like, he's finding things like... He oh, was self motivation wise. He was, wise. Um, yeah. he was even listening to old like old races and listening to the radio, and Listen he's like, "Why Balboa. did you do this? Hmm. Why did you do it this way? Gotcha. What are the decisions behind this?" He goes, God. "He's dissecting every little thing Jesus. and making sure that when we come to do it this year, that it's going to be perfect." And that sounds like future world champion. That does very particular. Sounds like a Nico Rosberg Ooh, kind of it analysis. Like a Fernando Alonso as well. Mm. Jeez. So a big. Uh, Interesting. I yeah. th- I think it's it's great that he can be that. Mm. Um, you know, Mark Webber's wife loves Mark, Mark Webber's Webber. wife. <laughs> Who doesn't love Mark Webber's wife? Isn't she a lovely lady? And she's twice the age of Mark Webber. She but, is, but she got experience. She can show you some things. Like <laughs> she showed experienced women will do that to you, you. You can't say that Mark Webber's wife is is a quite hottie. A, she's she's all right. She sh- let's just say that she showed Oscar the ropes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, so Oscar Piastri, uh, she, she, she was talking to Mark. She's like, oh, you know, yeah. what do you think of Oscar? And she's like, he is the most articulate driver I've ever met. Very good. Uh, he doesn't say much, but what he does, he does. He doesn't mince words and yep. he's straightforward. And I like that. I like that about Oscar. And uh, he's handled himself really well. Mm, um, very cool head, very calm. And he went with the, the, he went with the team that wanted him. Not the team Why that not? wanted to show me the love. Yeah, show me the money. Show me the love. So yeah, that's. Uh, I I think Nick DeVries will do well. I think Nick DeVries should have won um, Rookie of the Year last year. It went to Joe yeah. Guanyu because he was the only rookie. Yes. For the year. Yes. But he drove one race and got two points in a Williams. Right. And I think you know that should be Rookie of the Year right there. Yep. What did Joe Guanyu do? Turn up. Yeah, and you'd have to think that Nick's got an easier mm. teammate to beat. Yeah. That's not going to be that hard. Sergeant, I don't think he I will think beat. M- my prediction is Nick will outperform yep. his teammate. He will be the standout rookie. When you compare them, you only, can only compare them apples for apples against your teammate. I think Oscar Lando will be a 50-50. I'd love to see Oscar wipe the floor. With Lando, it'll be a fifty-fifty. Oh, I'm even going. Like, I'm even going like a fifty-five, forty-five in Oscar's favor. Really? Yep. I, I know. See, I'm not as. I'd love to have that enthusiasm, that confidence. I don't have it. You see, it's, it's why you drink tea. Green tea. You're a little bitch. Yep. Um, I think Devries will uh, have it over Yuki. Yep. Uh, but I do think Logan will outqualify Albon in two races. Okay. Exactly two. Exactly two. Okay. No more. I like it. Um, they didn't replace mm. China. They no. just stuck with, uh, we'll have a week off, which is probably good for teams, yeah. but uh, not good for me. Um, China. Due to the FIA constraints, we won't be making any political statements in this podcast. Oh. Bin Sulaim, yes. Ben Sulaim, I call him Bin Sulaim, has stepped back from F1 duties after he scoffed at F1's company's evaluation. Oh. Stakeholders were very unhappy with El Presidente. Mm. And I don't think we'll miss Rubbish Bin Suleim when he's left out on the curb for collection. He's a joke. <laughs> I like what you're doing. I don't I like, like what you're doing, Luke. I don't like Bin Suleim. No. He's like, you can't have piercings. Well, you got to wear the correct underwear. You can't have underwear well, under the underwear. Firstly, where did this guy, where did this Saudi prince come from? Did he just buy his way to this position? Who is he? I don't know. 
Well, I, I mean, how does he get that job? He got the job, and now he's trying to make all these changes. Oh, look, the rules say I hate Stickler for the rules. What do Saudis know about like, Formula One, Luke? I like a bit of comment. They're trying to buy Formula One. Of course one. they are. And the reason he's scoffing at it, because he's got mates who want to buy it, yeah. and everyone's like, we evaluate at this much. Yes. And he's going, fuck, it's not that much. And like, whoa, whoa, you can't interfere. You can't make no. statement that mm. it impacts the potential buyer, yes. the potential um, valuation of mm. the sport. And yeah. they're 100% right. All they'd be doing is they're just fucking with it. Yes. They're just... And Bill and Bin, rubbish Binny, yep. shouldn't be no. in that position. No. Shouldn't be making that statement. No, don't. And you don't all get the to... F1 teams kicked up a stink, and now oh, I've stepped back. Yeah. No, you're a dickhead. You said too much. Mm. He was in the... The prize giving when they give out the one, two, three trophies. Yep. Um, he was put his arms around Christian Horn. He goes, oh, please. You know, the last time I was with Red Bull, they sponsored my um, rally event. Like, he was driving and Red Bull sponsored the car. Oh, and he's God. put his arm around Christian Horner. Oh, And you see God. Stefano Domenicali is like, no, no, no. Don't, don't talk about this. Don't talk about you, that. You're not seeming an impartial president here. This is you're bad. You're seeming like Stop these are my talking. favorites. And yeah. that's pretty much what he's doing. He's whispering, he's like, shut the fuck up. What are you doing shut here? up. And he's like, this is not Saudi Arabia. You oh, can't no, buy everyone. I joke, I joke. You oh, know, I am so he's fun. such a great man, this <laughs> Christian Horner. I oh, fuck. Oh, God, awkward. Domenic Carly's like, ah! Oh, no. Mm. Wow. Well. Take him out. Rubbish, <laughs> Benny. Off you go. Um, new F1 teams, Andre Cadillac. I want to see Andretti. this happen. Yes. Well, that's um, they're they're weren't they? Isn't Ford coming in as well? So you got Ford going to be with Red Bull. Red Bull. Yeah. Red Bull Honda powertrain. Okay. Red Bull powertrains. Yeah. Badge with a, a yep. Ford on it. Um, and Audi's coming in. Audi's coming in with Salvi. This is like a 2026 Ooh, when all the rules change. Yeah. We've got a bit of time. Andretti is putting hundreds of millions of dollars into this. So this is a and um, Audi's, Audi's just going to take over Sauber. So yeah, that seems like a no-brainer. That's going to happen. But this Andretti Cadillac combo is that something that's going to go uh, be voted on? It's an extra. It's not someone taking over a team. This it, is a new team. This is a new team. Yeah. Uh, they want to make it sustainable because a lot of teams have come in, come out, like Super Aguri, uh, Midland, mm. all those teams that have come in. And by the wayside, the Hispania racing team, blah, Toyota. blah, blah, goes on. Toyota. Yeah. <laughs> Toyota. <laughs> Fucking joke. What the hell? Hyundai. Um, oh, bring them in. I'd love to see that. Oh, Skoda. What, what would be Skoda? the most obscure Formula One team you would like to see Ooh. on the grid? Oh, the Great Wall. The, you know those, they, drop, they make the cherry cars, those little <laughs> cherry cars. I'd like to see a Chinese operator. I'd like to see a... Um, ooh, I can't... Yeah, it's a good one. Mm, what's the Russian... Um, Winnebago. A Winnebago. There we go. Just, yes. A motorhome. Yeah. A motorhome company. Yeah. Just getting into a Formula One Formula team. Formula One. And it just pops, pops up. There's, there's a little a bed. There's a shower. There's a toilet. There's a mini bar. A USB. USB connector. It's got the lot. Everything just pops up. Yeah. It's heavy as fuck. Oh, slow. But it's still quicker than Williams. They're not going black. They can't be bothered. Oh, no. There's no point wasting. Heaps of paint on there. <laughs> Lots of paint. Yeah. I love that idea. Cladding. Winnebago. Cladding. Is that something that we could propose for the um, Narang GP? Of course. Winnebago, Winnebago racing. Yes. Winnebago, Winnebago racing. racing. What else could we race? Oh, bins. Bin racing. We'll have Bin Syed. What's he face? <laughs> he can be in the a grand, bin. Be the Grand Marshal. Grim. No. No, what we do is dunk a bin. Dunk a bin. So you have oh, Bin Salem oh, yes. and you throw the ball, yeah. you knock him down into, into the bin. Into a bin. But it's bin water. Yes. Yeah, it's it's bin. not fresh water. It's all sewage. It's bin it's juice. bin juice. It's got like a dead cane toads and stuff in it. And festering. Sideshow Alley. Yeah, beautiful. Next to the Crack Museum, you'll have yeah. Sideshow Alley oh. where you can throw Bin Salim into the bin juice. What happened last year with uh, the Narang GP? Did anything move forward from the previous year? Uh, I Actually. What happened? I got, on, you? <laughs> I got on your radio station. Did you? Did you really? I was in the car. Yeah. Driving. And I told Siri to call that number. Yeah. She called that number, yep. and I'm like, oh, the audio doesn't sound too good. I cancelled it. They called me back oh. 
because they must have had many people there's call no in. There's no callers. <laughs> it's like, yeah, call us up and tell us which event. And there must have got nothing. So they call the me back. That's the state of radio. Do you have... That's the state of radio right we there. We need listeners. We need someone. Um, so they listen to me. And I'm like, yeah, there should be a Formula 1 race on the streets of Narang. The Monaco of the Gold Coast. Is that what you said? That's what I so said. So what was the premise of the question? What did they ask you? What What events can we steal oh. from other parts of the country? Yes. I'm like, Gold Coast. So they, you know, I think they were talking about that new um, Gold Coast air show thing they're going to be doing yeah. on, on the on yeah, Surf's yeah, Paradise. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. bring Formula One here. We want a Formula One race, please. Yeah. Bring it to the streets, streets of, of Narang. Narang. Yeah. And how was the feedback? The feedback... I think they just kind of pushed their agenda. Oh. He's like, MotoGP would be better. I'm like, what? You know, what? I Did think you know- Formula One has a bigger reach than MotoGP. MotoGP. Do you, do you think you want to oh. see a, a motorcycle crash into the side of the Narang River? You don't want to see that. No, you don't. It's going to be bloody. Not as funny either. No. No, no one's eats. Mangled bodies aren't Shopping funny. car racing. Shopping car racing. Winnebago's shopping shopping, shopping trolleys. It's just endless entertainment. I think a reverse parking. No, it's a reverse lap. Parallel reverse just, lap driving whole... backwards. <laughs> Going backwards. It's a skill. It's In not a easy. Ute. In a ute with a dog and hay bales. Yep. I love it. Gotta... Yep. And a carton of eggs on the front. <laughs> any egg just broken? A, yeah, any egg broken. Minus two seconds yep i like that oh um, look this is a mate we're back narang gp hmm. we're gonna fire it back up yeah we've got to get the mayor back on board though so it's it's out there i've 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 reached yeah. the people good. i've got on good you've local done radio. you've done your bit you've done your bit luke i feel like i haven't i haven't received a call I, about it but i got it out there that's okay i think the radio station aren't who we're targeting no these ideas not at. morning radio morning radio is dead luke Everyone's asleep. Radio is dead. No one care. I'm just there warming my chair. I'm waiting for the call. Sorry, mate. Yeah. So, um, need you to... Yeah. Pack radio's up. dead. I'm just waiting. I'm hmm. just expecting that. Anyway, Radio is I've dead. got my bags packed already. I'm like, cool. No worries. It's like, a, like a go bag for a pregnant woman. You're like, I'm ready to <laughs> I'm leave ready. as soon as I get fired. I've got my I'm knickers. Out the door. Got my toothbrush. And my... <laughs> yeah. It's good you prepare, though. Have to be in radio, mate. You gotta yep. be. Um, so I hope the Andretti Cadillac move goes through. Yeah, me too. I think them what? having that Cadillac brand behind them gave them a little bit of. I just want to see another team in there. Yeah. Come on, let's get more. Remember in the old days, and they have there was a thirty lot cars of... on a grid. They have a lot of money. Uh, we don't have enough cars on the grid. No, it's we don't. too exclusive. Yeah. But hopefully the new regulations, smaller budgets, get all the manufacturers in. We'll get a lot of cars. That's what we want: cars and crashes. Get Herder in. He's and he's all those in fringe drivers that don't get a drive. Mm. You know all these guys. Get him in there. Ricardo. Herder. Sh- Schumacher. No. no. <laughs> Maybe not. So twenty twenty three. Yep. What can we expect from twenty twenty three? You start. What um, What are we going to deliver this, from this, oh, this podcast? Oh, this podcast. This podcast. Well, we've always underdelivered, Luke. Of course. That's something we're going to always... overpromise and underdeliver right now. What we're famous for, Luke. For you, for me, yeah. for you. Yes. For them. What can we promise the fans of this podcast? Mm. I would like to think that we are going to take it, the Narang GP, all the way. All and the way. And for 2024 to finally be locked in. The Narang GP. There's always a gap with the Chinese Grand Prix, so they can just it's a perfect window. slide it on perfect in. Perfect window. I expect more of my rants. Good. Like I had with Bin Salam. Yes. More rants. Less hair. Dry. Less hair? Be, hmm. What? We're going to have oh. less hair on us. Well, it's, yeah. Yeah. Unavoidable. Less hair every time. Yeah. Every podcast, mm. like every pre-race podcast, yes. we would do a driver profile. Okay. So not only will we, we will have a deep dive yeah. into each driver. Mm. What makes them tick? Yeah. What's their favorite food? Yes. What kind of music oh, do they listen to? Oh, that's a good, so we're going to. Did they win anything before they got here? Right. Are their parents rich? It's a take on a driver every week. We're going to feature they, a driver. Who did they first have sex with? Yes, their first sexual partner. Yeah. yeah. We can ask, I'm going to ask all those questions when I see them in Melbourne. Good. 
Who did you first have sex with? Yeah. They're What's not his... going to expect that question. What's his They're name? They're not going to expect that. What's his name? That's the, that's the idea of questioning people. Keep them on their toes. Mm. Give them something. Give, give them like two questions. Yeah. Like, how's the car? And the next question. How's the track? <laughs> yeah. Who did you first have sex with? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the art of interviewing Luke. Did you do it it's, to a, to a song? Art. Yeah. What kind of song did you lose your virginity well to? Done. What was his was name? Was she drunk? Did he have yeah. a beard? Right. Um, That's a good thinking. I like it. Back is the Turd Championship, and we'll have a new champion. We've had Nicholas Latifi take it out the last couple of years. Now, we've got a new champ. Turd Championship's back. Love it. Love it. There's so many things to look forward to. It's there, Yeah. but there's no Latifi to take the top spot. No. It's open field. Who knows? Who's going to be the shittest driver? We don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out soon. God, that's exciting. Awards? The speckled gym medal is back. We're back. But hang on. It was back last year. No, no, no. Oh, did you have a hiatus? I, I dropped speckled gym medal. You dropped gym speckled medal. gym medal? Yep. How very dare you. I had no well, co-host. It's yeah. just my opinion. It was bare No bones. one's listening no to one's my listening. opinion. You need a break. Like, you need someone to give you a breath, <sighs> and then you can re-engage. It's, it's too hard to do it by yourself, Luke. You shouldn't be expected to. It was very difficult. Did producer Pete we not didn't step even, up? I didn't even end the season. I didn't oh, even do a did. final podcast. Oh, you didn't. I was like, fuck this. Oh, what did the Foley boy say? Um, where's the final where's the, the final Foley, podcast, the Luke? The Foley boy said, uh, did I win the Tippy Championship? I'm like, yes, you did. Oh, good lord. Yeah. Um, what was the uh the download situation for uh, FE1 podcast? I stopped looking. Yeah. It's a depressing state. <laughs> it's you know, when when you click on where our downloads are at yeah. and you see a virtual yeah. Tumbleweed. Yeah, you'll see a flat roll line. across. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that? But Luke, do you, has that ever, has that ever influenced what we do? No, <laughs> no. Do we care about downloads? No, no, we do not, Luke. That's what why do we, we don't have sponsors. What do we care about, Luke? I don't know. Um, the fans, Luke. We care about the fans. Yep, we care about them. We don't care not about too the much. bullshit. We don't care about the fluff. We care about the people. The people. The battlers. The, the battlers. other battlers out there that are like us. Exactly, that are Luke. struggling through each day, waiting for the Formula yep. One season to yes. start up. Yes. Without a glimmer of hope, what, who do they turn to? If you one podcast. They don't turn to beyond the grid. No, why would you? Why? A couple of English guys. They don't turn it to WTF1, no. No. who have lost their two hosts. I can't even. I I, I, w- I wish it was funny. Do you I even... wish I could listen to their podcast. I wish I could listen to a Formula One po- podcast and have a chuckle. It's impossible. Mm. What is wrong with effing one hosts? Mm. I don't understand it, Luke. It's not. It's not that difficult. No. You don't have to be boring. No. Let's be entertaining. Try to. Try. Put Insult a smile. Insult some people. The guy on the train, on the commuting. What's he got to look forward to, Luke? Not a fucking boring Formula One podcast. It's not going to help his day. No, not no, at all. No. And we're here to brighten up your day. That's right. We're here to talk shit, give you a chuckle, and make it look like you're a little bit insane because yeah. you're just sitting there yeah. laughing your face off. Correct. With Correct. headphones on, everyone's going, what the yeah. fuck is he laughing at? Oh. Correct. And if nothing else, you will feel better about yourself after listening to this podcast because you will think, there is no way I can be as unfunny as these two idiots. That's correct. You will think back, I will just have a little listen to this Formula One podcast because this is going to make me feel better about that me. me. Yep. I, I do that at work. When I see people at work who are just, you know, there's there's people who have learning development issues and that's, mm. you know, they have development yeah. issues and yeah. they're just plain retards. Yeah. And we have them at work a all lot. the time and it just makes me feel better about myself. Mm. You know, yeah. I can tie my own shoelaces. Mm. Some of these people can't. Yeah. And when you see them, when mm. when you see them walking or rolling past, <laughs> you often you will often say to them, "Hey, you might be having it tough right now, young man, but at least you're not the host of F1 podcast." And if you listen to Lewis Hamilton one day, you'll walk. Because don't let anyone say you can't. Yes. Even though you don't have legs. Correct. You can yep. walk. Yes. Correct. That's why we do this job. That's why we do this job. We do a lot of things. Some things we do well, some things we do poorly. We do Most a lot of, of things poorly. I mean, we've kind of cornered the market on poorly. Mm. 
When you yeah. think poorly, I'm sure mm. if you look in the dictionary, you'll find our faces. There's a special place just for us. Hastily thrown together, poorly produced podcast. Poorly produced podcast. And uh, producer Pete is outside the soundproof booth. He's just out here, isn't he? Taking levels, making sure everything... Yep. Yep, that's him. That's him there. Thanks, Pete. He's doing a great job. Tap, tap. Um, and we've got uh, the Yuji Ide Award has been rebranded. Oh, good. The Nicholas Latifi Award. Oh, good. Is now. And he's Fantastic. got a sponsor on board. It's called Paper Straws because everyone hates paper straws. And if it wasn't for that one, one turtle with a plastic straw <laughs> up his nose. <laughs> how does a turtle... Sorry, I know this isn't a Formula 1, but how mm. does a turtle... Yes. You're floating along. Mm-hmm. You know, the ocean, yeah. the yeah, vast yeah. ocean. Yeah, yeah. It's fast. And, you know... How would you... It just... What are the chances? Hits, it just hits... just rests what? in there. And then he goes... Mm, oh. I want to jam that in. No. Damn it. probably just goes, fucking... This is And bullshit. swims away. What are the chances? It's lodged up his nose. That's not possible. That's and that not... one coke-headed yes. fucking turtle yes. ruined it yeah. for the rest of us. Yeah. You can't have a frozen coke anymore. No. no. You're staring with it like you got a limp Because that one turtle... One coke who up fell turtle. on a straw. It's like that guy that went to hospital with a carrot up his. I just fell on. I fell on the carrot. That guy. That's the. He. That's the turtle. That's the equivalent that guy. in the turtle world. That guy. Ruined it for everyone. Personal Thanks a lot. Experience right there. Um, so that's my rant about turtles. Uh, right. The Lincoln Centre Award, Pasta Maldonado Award, the Green Award stays. And all these course, awards are staying. They're all back. And of course, the Coup de Gras, the F One Podcast Award for making Formula One great again. That's what we try and mm. do here. We've mm. got a new award. We've got a new award, yeah, we? new award. It's okay. called the Greta of the Week. So, after named after Greta Thunberg. Oh, Greta. Yep, the little autistic girl who's keep screaming about the climate change. Yes. Um, she uh, is quite a bit of a, you know, she's quite vocal. Very vocal. She gets fake arrested. It's good to see. Um, but, you know, if anyone breaks the FIA rules, the new mm. rules about saying anything, standing up for anything, mm. if you decide to stand up for anything, uh, so the biggest... Greta of the of the week yep. will get the Greta Award. Okay. So I'm looking forward to every single week, mm. Lewis Hamilton or someone Winging. will say something Winging about, about the world something. that we can go, you know, you're the virtual signal of the week. Okay. Um, I like that. Mm. And if a driver was an animal, yes, what animal would that driver be? This is a segment of the show that we're... Uh, yeah, why okay. not? Every week we're doing a... Whatever. Right. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. I if like you it. were an animal, if what was... animal would you be? Oof. No, mate. Something probably s- a bit slovenly. Sloth. Sloth? Yeah. I think it's like a panda. Panda. Cuddly. Warm. Cuddly. Warm. Yeah, friendly. Everyone likes to see you. Yep. You One are, black eye. You are kind of like a panda. Yeah. Chewing kind of on like some. A, yeah. Yeah. An angry panda. I have panda-like qualities. Yeah. Um, We've got um, merchandise. Good. I've designed some merch. Have I've designed you? a little bit more. Okay. I've got some speckled gym stuff coming out. Yes. I've got an Aran oh, Grand Prix merch coming yeah. out and mm. just some general podcast. Oh, and even stuff. our old, remember our original logo with you and me as caricatures yes. in the back of the car, you is whispering it, Is sweetener. it back? It's back. Yes, it is. On a t-shirt. Just Good. for retro sake. Yeah. The f one podcast. Well, this podcast has been going for a few years now, Luke. It's yeah. not. This is our fifth year. This is our fifth year. Shirts, hats, can wow. coolers, and other kind of Are we of counting the, shit? I'm not really counting five. You can count five. I had that. Year up year the mountains. Year the mountains. Yep. Band. With the Tibetan monks in France. In France. Banned so, for headbutting Max Verstappen. Show support for Speckled Jim, the Nuremberg yes. Grand Prix, mm-hmm. and Adam's Fabergé Egg Habit. Yes, good. Um, we have the tipping competition, and yes, we did have a winner last year. It wasn't announced last year, but I did tell them in person in a slippery little DM mm-hmm. between each other. Mm-hmm. Jim, Jim Foley, mm-hmm. um, nearly hit the 300 last year, ended on 299, five points wow. ahead of everyone else. And uh, and unlike the Running Man movie, have you seen Running Man, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Uh, yeah, years there was ago. three guys that years won ago. the Running Man before him, mm. and they went away to this tropical paradise, and then they found them. They actually burnt up bodies, ah, uh, yeah, because yeah. they were all prisoners yep. and they didn't want yep. to give them a holiday. Yep. So they burnt them up. I'm not going to do that to Jim. Good. We're going to send him out some merch. Okay. Good. So Jim, I'll get in contact with you. You choose what you want, mm-hmm. um, and we'll send it out to you. Uh, shirt, hat, can cooler, whatever, mm. all on Adam's dime. It's very cool. generous of you, Adam. I think you're most welcome, mm. Luke. Mm. Yeah, good. Wow. So you're back. Much. How does it feel so to be much. back? Oh, I'm just a bit, look, 
I'm going to be honest, I'm a little bit all over the shot. Like, these awards, I can't even remember. Mm. I mean, half the stuff, all this stuff here, I don't even remember. The Turd Challenge... I have to refresh myself. <laughs> the challenge. The tur- I don't even like. I have to refresh myself with and get familiar. Back to the F1 podcast. Back to f- effing one podcast. Mm. I feel like I need to go back and Where's listen. You? You're back I need in to the go mountain. listen back to some podcasts. No, you don't do that. Don't. Least, Maybe I, two years back. Really? Yeah. Go back. So to you're saying our skip podcast. last year? Skip all of that. You last underest- year, You underestimate know. yourself, sir. No, you I do. made two people laugh last year. I was one on top of the mountain. You just didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. I wasn't allowed to make noises. If a man doesn't laugh at the top of a man, does it really laugh? I don't know. So I feel uh, excited. I feel refreshed, Mm. as you would be, meditating for an entire year Mm. after headbutting Max Max Verstappen. God, it felt good, though. Mm. God, it felt good. Does it make you want to do it again? (laughs) Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, Max. Got him. Got him. Got him. Fucking here we go. It was worth it. (laughs) Fucking worth it. Uh, I'm excited, Luke. Mm. I'm excited to see what the future holds. I can't mm. wait for the start of the season. I, l- I can't wait to see testing. Mm. Testing is going to be, because that's always a barometer. Yep. You're always never quite sure, and someone starts to show something, and you suddenly start thinking, this is going to be a different year. Yep. Things are exciting. And there might be a change in the pecking order. Who knows? There might be. I just hope there's some serious sandbagging by a mm. really unusually slow team like they're normally slow yeah but i hope someone sandbags i hope someone gets out there and goes we're gonna be pretty quick like what braun did yes they go you know what we've got something we are put a lot of fuel in this car but we're seriously quick and Mm. i hope it's one of the outside i hope there's so i hope someone's got it right and you know the 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 fighting with teammates the young drivers that are coming in the rookies the change of experienced drivers alonso is going to be exciting there's so much to look forward to luke yeah. i'm excited about the formula 1 season yeah. i'm excited about podcasting again being allowed to podcast mm. being back not having my ban lifted mm. Just so I'm happy. excited to have you back. I'm just so happy to be and i love our brand new little booth it's different mm. i it's like quiet. it yeah it's foamy. I might just meditate for a it's bit. It's very meditative. Mm. Very meditative. Very meditative. Very meditative. So, look, I'm, it's, I'm excited to be back, Luke. Good to and, have you um, back. I can't wait for the next one. Yeah. going to get some testing. Yeah. Wait, I think... Oh. Hello? We've got someone in the ear. Oh, shit. Who's that? It's Pete. Producer Pete? Pete. We've got Sebastian Vettel Sebastian on the phone. Sebastian Vettel's on the phone. Let's just he is, up. too. Let's patch him through. All right. Let's go. Hi, guys. Hi! Oh my God! Wow, God, guys, how is going on? Hi, guys, I'm Se- calling live from Vienna. Sebastian, uh, thank Hi you guys. so much for joining us. You're welcome, but I'm a good How I are you know. going? I'm pretty good, Luke. Thanks for asking. Hey, look, I have to ask you a question. Hmm. Let me just ask you a question. How is the girlfriend? Is it working out? It's because if it's not working out, it's fine. No, it's working out. She's, yeah, she's a lovely woman. Yeah. Is she really? Hmm. Is she, but is she? Is she doing it for your look? I mean, is she connecting with your mind? It's probably more am I doing it for her than, oh, really? than me doing it for her doing it for Do me. Do you need some little blue pills? I can get some little blue pills for you. <laughs> I, I've got a supplier. You, you might need a truckload. Back it in with some Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow. You'd be like the guy in the Formula 1 car. It was a stiffy and can't, it can't, can't get, get out. out. I'm yeah. Pierre Gastry. <laughs> get me out of here. Jesus Christ. Uh, how are you? How's retirement? It's it's a bit crazy, you know. I've been on the beach mm. with the fellas, yep. just enjoying the coconut oils mm. and the daiquiris and mm. stuff, and just hanging out. But I got to be honest with you, look, I'm missing the, you know, I've been doing this for so long, and mm. I, I don't know what to do with myself sometimes. Yep. You've been posting a lot on Instagram. I have been. Um, yeah. In regards to your old carding careers. Yes, and bleaching. Uh, I, I have yeah, seen yeah, yeah, the yeah. bleaching story. You should see my Google sack. Seriously, it's amazing. Really? It's hell, complete, amazing. Anyway, I'll show you later. Because mm. like, you, you're podcasting. I don't want to show anybody yeah. now. It's yeah. like, well, we've, we've got you on the camera on the, on the Zoom. Thanks yeah. for, for joining us via the hey, video. Hey, no worries. It's my pleasure, please. I'm always happy to see you look. God, you look hairy. What's, what's plans for... I'd, I didn't actually know you look like this. I don't think I've ever f- actually well, you, seen you. You haven't seen me from above the waist. Wow. You've only seen me from below the waist. Yeah, you're you're very hairy. I'm a hugely hairy man. Man, I have hair where there shouldn't be. Jesus, you're much better and where looking. Where hair should I be, thought. I don't have hair. No, you don't. But you're much better looking than I thought you would be. Yeah. Well, no, oh, it's very kind of you to say, yeah. Sebastian. Yeah. 
You're not quite as handsome as Lance Stroll. Lance Stroll, he is a hottie. He is a, an interesting yeah. person. How would you, uh, you know, what what kind of connection do you have with Is Lance, Lance now Stroll? you've left Aston Martin? Oh, uh, mostly just dick pics and stuff. Mm. Um, he's got a great shaft. So it's always nice to see what his shaft is up to. Shaft. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I miss the guy. Also with... Um, uh, Fernando Alonso yeah. said that uh, I love Fernando. He's Lance yeah, yeah. has the ability to be a world champion. <laughs> oh my God! He's so funny, Alonso. He's he said, just such a he humor. Said, Aston Martin has a driver in Lance. Yeah. I know. Who has the capacity wow. to be a Wow, just crazy talk, isn't it? It's like he but, started the uh, sentence. It's just so crazy. I mean, Fernando Alonso is always a crazy guy. He's always making the crazy stories up and shit. So, I don't know. Mm. I don't think he's... Um, I think it's a joke. Mm. I think it's a joke. You yeah. Think? I think so, yeah. You think it was like a subtle jab? A subtle jab? Yeah, like to go, you know, he's like going in a saying a condescending way. In a condescending way? What, yeah. what is like to be und, sarcastic. Und sarcastic, yeah. Yes, being sarcastic. Like oh, Mon- yeah, he's a great driver. Like Monty Python. Kind of like kind that. Of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Monty Python. So, yeah. What's your favorite Monty Python? Oh, movie? the fish. The fish slapping. I love the fish slap. And the pirates. Uh, the parrot sketch. Parrot sketch. This parrot, this parrot sketch. is dead. Mm. What are you talking about, sir? I've actually it's just pining for the fields. That parrot. Is oh, on out of water bottle. No way. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm. Wow. And that's two African swallows. Oh, God. African guys. Yeah. yeah. I love African guys. <laughs> I love putting... I've got African guys on my water... Well, I, I use my water bottle on the African guys. Mm. <laughs> Too much info. I got to go. So Thanks um, for stopping by. That's okay. I need to go back and get my um, massage. How was the, the wife and kids? Oh, the, oh. It's just amazing. Oh, you should see the boy. They talk about you. Oh, they're, they're so big now. What are their names again? The little, um, little sh- shroom. I forget. Oh, jeez, it's so crazy. Oh, I've got so many things in my mind. Okay, oh, you, so, you're constantly thinking about climate change and, and changing the correct. world. I can yeah, understand that. Yeah, there's um, little shroomy. Mm. There's little uh, Greta. <laughs> did uh, what Greta, if, did Greta Thunberg. One if, I've got also a little Ricardo, did, a little Alonso. So yeah. you've got a fourth kid now. Yeah, Greta. Greta's the new one. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. my wife, my wife, of course, is um, Heidi. She's lovely. <laughs> Heidi's changed her name as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the name before? Was it Helga? No. It was always Heidi. It was always Heidi. Why? Okay, why? okay sorry. I, I would always... I, would, I forget. Look, I would know... It's the, been such a long time since I've talked to you. My wife's name. I know my wife's name. You I'm, think so? I'm a heterosexual guy. <laughs> Sebastian Vettel is the most heterosexual guy in the world. Really? You will not find another heterosexual guy like me. Mm. I swear to you. Okay? You put a vagina, <laughs> a labia in front of me, mm. and you try to stop me. Mm. I have like a tiger and the meat. Like a tiger. Yeah, I cannot be stopped, Luke. I will attack it. I wouldn't want to stop you. No. I but mean, I, there's vaginas out there all ready for you. You put a long, hot, thick, purple shaft... <laughs> Where? In front of, in front of me. I, in front I, of you? I'll be disgusted. Disgusted. <laughs> so much, you'll gobble I'll it up. Devour. <laughs> Said cock. No! Look. Stop it. I gotta go. I'm a heterosexual guy. Okay, bye! Does that say gay camp in the background? Sebastian Vettel. Sebastian Vettel. Four-time world champion. champion. Well, great to see him. Hmm. Great to see him. Thanks, Sebastian. I think he's, I think he's gay. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think he's a There's heterosexual. There's nothing that he said... That would, that would make me think that, that he's, he's gay. gay. I don't think he's as heterosexual as he claims he is. I'm just saying it. I'm going to put it out there. <sighs> Luke, we got to go. This has been a lot of fun. We do. But i got to go to sleep. You do. Uh, You've got a family to I got tend a family. to. And I got the, you know, regardless of what time you go to bed, they will get up at the same time. <laughs> and they will want pancakes. Yeah. It's the weekend. Can't you teach the kids to, make to work pan- the hot plate and like make Matilda. their own? Like Matilda. I wish a five-year-old could operate... An electric oven. They can. And, or, or a, yeah, can they? Yeah. Not mine. It's just a matter of, you know, mine going not. through the burn stage. Yeah. And this... listen, that is hot. True. Once they, you know, build up a good callus, they'll be fine. They can just yeah. you know, touch that hot plate. It's time. You're right. It's like it's like swimming. How old's Hugo now? Three. Three. That's it's, time to make pancakes. If he's not making pancakes by three, he should be you're making fun. Probably being a pretty lousy parent. Yeah. If he's not swimming by himself, 
yeah, he's you're not doing your job. Just throw them in the pool, throw them with a hot pan. Yep. Some well, not pancake the kids, mixture. The pancake mixture, not the kids. The, yeah, don't do that. Butter. That's illegal. Yeah. Butter. Fantastic. All right, Luke. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. Welcome back. <sighs> Thank you. Namaste. 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 That's what I did in the mountain for a whole year. Mm. Just meditating. Namaste. Yep. So good to talk. My first words for a year. Mm. Amazing. Cheers, cunts.